Happy Veterans Day, everyone. And just wanted to let you know that good times are ahead of us. Okay, why do I say that? Well, inflation drives mortgage rates, right? Now, the, the core consumer price index came out. So here goes a graph from MBS Highway showing from January 2028 all the way out to July 2022. So when we're dealing with what the feds are doing, they are increasing the Fed fund rate, right, in order to control inflation. So the big question at hand is when will inflation peak? Well, we were hoping that it was going to happen in September. So when we received the CPI uh, report for October, it's showing that it there was a decrease, right? So inflation was at 8.2% and then went down to 77 The CPI is what, um, is what the feds use for inflationary measures, okay? Now, usually when we have Fed hikes, as you can see here from 1995, moving forward, when the Fed hike that Fed fund right, it usually leads to recession. So what's recession for us? Well, mortgage rates and recession. So usually when there's a recession, we're slowing down the economy, and then that's when interest rates start to fall down. Now, as you can see in this chart, there's a big difference in regards to back in the day where interest rates were 16 to, uh, down to 11, up from 18 down to 13. And we've been so used to having such low interest rates, as you can see down here, with the 3.7 to the 2.75, some people have it a little lower, but then it went all the way up and we doubled, okay? Now, housing stays strong during recession. Um, so depending on what state, county, and zip code you're in, um, housing is still gonna be strong. Now, one of the main reasons is the burst during each generation. So let me know which one of these generations are you. We got the silent total burst, we got the baby boomers, Generation X, we got millennials, and we got post millennials. I know they have another uh, word for them, but at the end of the day, as you can see here, baby boomers, 76 million, Generation X, 55 million, millennials, 66 million, right? And then the post is 61 million people. So. When we're dealing with these household formations, right, what's happening with demand? So as you can see here, there keeps going up and going down. But at the end of the day, there's still, there was a great deal of demand. Of course, now the demand is slowing down because of interest rates, but household formations are household formations. Now, do we have enough inventory? So when we look at 207 and 208, when we had a different type of market, we had too many houses, right? And therefore we had more, it became a buyer's market. At the end of the day, right now in 2022, we just don't have enough inventory for the amount of household formation. And at the end of the day, that's one of the reasons why housing stays strong, right? And so because this market is in a normal, so to speak, cycle, as you can see here from 2014 on to 2022, it keeps going up, going down, going up and going down. But as you can see here, right, when you look over here at two, uh, even at 2016, right, we're over 1.5 million. Here we are at 1.25 million, but we have so much more household formation, okay? Now, let's talk about mortgage-backed securities, 10-year uh, bonds and mortgage rates. So right now, as you can see, there's a big upswing based on that CPI report because all these Fed fund hikes are doing what they need to do, and that is slowing down inflation, right, which would then lead to a recession. What's a recession? We need two GDP, right, in a row, so fourth quarter and then first quarter 2023, which then will be officially in a recession. What happened in this third quarter is that we had one upside, and so hence we have to start all over. So at the end of the day, good times are coming. So once we see the results of these Fed fund heights, uh, hopefully in January, February, we should see interest rates starting to lower itself as the Fed fund hikes help us control inflation and hopefully get us down so that we can have lower interest rates, 
right? And have more affordability for our clients. Have yourself a wonderful Veterans Day weekend. We appreciate your service to our country.